just forgot you You stole my heart away with the things that you do And lately, you drive me crazy, baby Maybe that's why I escaped Good morning, LS Gang So, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning And you guys already read the title I know most of you guys remember the last time we had to take her to the emergency room <laughs> Sorry, baby. If you're new here, if you're new to LS Gang, especially if this is your first video, we're sorry. We're sorry that this is your first video. But my name is Landon, and my girlfriend's name is Shyla. And Shyla has had some health issues recently. Basically, she has like um, an ovarian cyst, like a cyst on the ovary, that I guess gets bigger and then smaller, and when it's bigger, it could burst. It's kind of confusing. I don't want to confuse you guys, but basically, it's pretty serious. Um, or it could get serious and it's something you definitely need to watch. So I guess Shyla is having like another episode. So it started last night. Last night Shyla said that she started feeling weird and she immediately knew what it was. Like she knows the pain exactly and she knew that it was gonna get worse and she would not go to the hospital, like she wouldn't. But I guess it did get better and she was able to go to sleep. But when she woke up about 30 minutes ago, the pain was just as bad if not worse than last night. So I had to do the same thing as last time. I put her in the bathtub. And this time was probably worse than last time. So I didn't want to record too much. Again, obviously when you're in pain, you don't want a camera in your face, especially for a girl. Like, you need your space. But as you guys know, you treat us like family. So we need to do the same and always keep you guys updated on what's going on. But anyways, back to the story. The bathtub wasn't working. So I called up one of my friends that's a nurse, and he said that it's best that I just take her to the hospital. Right now, Shyla's in bed, she's laying, she's clenching her stomach, she's not doing so good. And I know she's still not gonna go to the ER, but she has to, like, she just needs to. And I just try to, like, take care of her the best ability, but she wants to be so strong, and I admire her for that. But she still needs to go. So now me and you, Ellis King, we, we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna force her to go to the ER so she can get some help. But as always, guys, just pray for her. She's such a happy person all the time that when she's not happy, it makes me feel weird and it makes me feel sad. I just want to see her smiling 24-7. Are you dressed or are you naked? You're dressed? Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. You feel any better? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. I really hurt. I don't know what to do. I think that... I'll help you. I'll help you get dressed and we should just go to the hospital right now. I don't wanna go. I know, but we need to go. I don't wanna go. I can't get out of bed right now. I promise I'll carry you to the car. And we'll go to a different hospital than the first one because obviously the first one didn't really care. I don't wanna like wait and all of that. Well, you're gonna say you're gonna be in pain all day. At least they can give you medicine and stuff. Or like stuff to like make it not as bad. All right, what do you need? A shirt. Okay, I got you a shirt. Hi, my boy. Okay, so you got your shirt. What else do you need? Can you try to put my hair out? Try to put your hair out? Okay, so hair's up and sweater's on. What else do I need? No, no, no. You wanna wear sandals or you wanna wear your Ugg boots? I don't think. Ugg boots? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got your gray Uggs. Now we got Uggs, sweater, hair up, socks. You need socks. And we got your socks. All right guys, so I'm back downstairs and we successfully convinced her to go to the hospital. So, so she's finishing getting ready and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, guys, we just made it to the ER right now, and hopefully we can be seen immediately. Sometimes they like to play games, so we'll see what happens. 
Charlotte, I just stepped outside for a second. What's going on now is that we're just waiting to get called in. And I know once we get called in, that they're not going to let us record anything. So I guess we'll see you guys in about two, three hours. All right, guys, we're back home from the hospital. I swear, I feel like we've been there for like 18 hours. But we're home and Shyla's not very happy. I'm just gonna let her explain what's going on. Guys, we were there for such a long time. And truthfully, I don't wanna ever go back. I still really don't have a lot of answers. When I go, they're just kind of like, oh, we'll give you some pain meds and we'll just like document it, which really doesn't do anything for me in the long run. But there is good news. I finally have an appointment to see my primary physician so he can um, put a rush on it for me to get like an emergency ultrasound to see what's going on with my body still. Guys, like, let me tell you, it is so painful you just kind of like doubled over in pain like you can't even like distract your mind to think about other things because it's so like painful it just consumes your whole body and it's the worst thing ever and it's really scary and i know it's probably scary for landon too because like who wants to see their significant other just like can barely talk because you're in excruciating pain. It's really, really bad. And like, I'm kind of sad that the ER doctors that I have seen haven't taken it more serious. You know, this can affect my fertility in the long run and um, can lead to more problems, can lead to greater health problems. And obviously we both want kids and like, all of that, so this is definitely nothing to play with. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for, I've gotten so many messages about people who know someone who has a similar thing or people who have kind of experienced something similar and their tips and advice and just the love and like prayers. And I really do appreciate it. And I honestly do believe that is what's giving me like, energy right now because I do not feel good. I don't even want to get out of bed. Like I'm so scared like things are gonna trigger it. And I hope that this week when I go to see my doctor that I will finally get some answers. So like she said guys, thank you. Hopefully tomorrow she's better and we can have a normal day. But as always guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the game.